Fed just warned holders to sell XRP before July. XRP to $65,000. The Ripple fintech company is gradually becoming one of the most popular names in the global payment industry. Welcome to the Finance Up channel. If you liked this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Do you think the analysts are right about XRP? Write the answers in the comments. Giving away 500 XRP at the end of the week. One random subscriber will receive XRP coins. Take a look at the instructions in the comments section. All you need to do is write the word XRP, watch the video to the end, to like and subscribe. The company's payment solution, RippleNet, has been widely adopted by leading banks and payment providers due to its mastery of international settlements that provide fast, efficient and inexpensive cross-border transactions. According to Ripple, hundreds of financial institutions around the world, including banks, use its payment solutions for international settlements, and it is expected that there will be even more. However, many seek this niche, including the world's leading and central banks. Will they be able to compete with RippleNet? Ripple could face a sharp drop in its dominance in the payments sector if major players such as the US Federal Reserve decide to create a similar payment solution similar to Ripple. In the past, all initiatives related to the United States have been widely used by countries seeking to remain on good terms with the United States. It is quite possible that the Fed may decide to develop its own blockchain-based payment solution that would conduct transactions in a matter of seconds. It is worth noting that most central banks and payment companies around the world would trust a payment solution owned and controlled by the United States government, rather than relying on a network developed by a private company that is currently facing legal action for conducting unregistered securities offerings. But there are also many financial institutions that will not want to use the payment initiative supported by the United States and be dependent on them. In addition, the US dollar continues to depreciate recently due to the endless printing of new banknotes. Ripple has been operating for 10 years, has proven itself well with partners and has proven its effectiveness. Therefore, despite the possible competition, the company will definitely retain a good market share. Although the Federal Reserve has not indicated whether it will launch its own CBDC, this move could trigger a number of events in the near future. But RIP has a good chance to compete even with such a giant as the Fed. The position of Vice Chairman for Supervision at the Federal Reserve has remained vacant since the term of office of Governor Randall Quarles expired in October 2021. After the departure of the former head of the Federal Reserve Board, Sarah Bloom Raskin, U.S. President Joe Biden announced his intention to appoint former Obama administration official and law professor Michael Barr as deputy chairman of the Central Bank for Supervision. In Friday's announcement, the White House said that Barr was selected by Biden to oversee the Federal Reserve System and determine the regulatory program for its leadership. Barr served on the advisory board of Ripple Labs from 2015 to 2017, and also worked as Assistant Secretary of the Treasury for Financial Institutions under former President Barack Obama and taught courses on financial regulation at the University of Michigan. According to the White House, he was the key architect of the Dodd-Frank Act, which continues to influence financial policy in the United States. Barr has strong support across the political spectrum and has been confirmed by the Senate on a bipartisan basis, President Biden said. He understands that this work is not partisan, but one that plays a crucial role in regulating our country's financial institutions in order to ensure fair treatment of Americans and protect the stability of our economy. Quote, According to the U.S. president, he wanted to quickly promote Barr's candidacy, probably given that the position of vice chairman for supervision has been vacant since the term of office of Fed Chairman Randall Quarles expired in October 2021. Senator Sherrod Brown of Ohio, chairman of the Senate Banking Committee, said he would support the candidacy, citing the need for full-fledged Fed board. Quote, the vice chairman for supervision plays a crucial role in protecting our financial system and must prioritize strict financial regulation, as well as identify and anticipate risks to our economy, Brown said. I will support this key candidate and urge my Republican colleagues to abandon their old scenario of personal attacks and demagoguery and put Americans and their wallets first. Quote, it's unclear whether partisanship could play a role in pushing Barr's potential candidacy through committee in a full Senate vote. Sarah Bloom Raskin, Biden's first nominee for vice chair of oversight, withdrew her name from consideration in March, citing relentless attacks from special interests and citing Republican lawmakers who have held hostage her candidacy since February. At the time, Republican members of the Senate Banking Committee boycotted a meeting aimed at nominating Biden for a Senate vote. 
The Senate has not yet approved Biden's choice for the posts of Fed Chairman, Vice Chairman and two Governors, Jerome Powell, Lael Brainerd, Lisa Cook and Philip Jefferson, respectively. Powell has served as interim chairman since February 4 in the absence of a full Senate vote, while Brainerd continues to be a member of the Fed's Board of Governors. While the leading cryptocurrencies were mostly in the red, XRP was one of the biggest growth leaders on Friday, rising 9%. After a low of $0.7106 at the beginning of the session, the XRP USD rate rose to an intraday high of $0.7937 during the day. Today's high came after four consecutive days of gains that lifted XRP to its highest level since April 6. There's so much going on with Ripple and its XRP token right now. This is both the latest court decision, which is called a big victory, and Allbridge's statement about successful integration with the XRP ledger, XRPL. In an interview with CNBC, Ripple's CEO Brad Garlinghouse said that the litigation with the US SEC is going much better than he expected. Therefore, despite the fact that speculative or technical reasons are mainly behind the growth, there is a strong fundamental reason behind the long-term growth of the asset. Moreover, CryptoKits have also shown interest in cryptocurrency and have been actively buying it recently. According to Whale Alerts, Whales added XRP worth about $45. 8 million. The Securities and Exchange Commission surprised all observers of the case after it reported that it is not currently seeking to make additional discovery. Recall that discovery is a pre-trial stage of the study, which has already been postponed four times. This happened after the court demanded that the SEC state its position regarding additional study by April 15, 2022. Hashtag XRP Community Hashtag SEC Gov V. Hashtag Ripple Hashtag XRP The SEC has filed a letter stating that it does not seek to take additional discovery at this time but both parties reserve their rights to take discovery limited to the disgorgement issue, if necessary, after liability is decided. In accordance with the court order of March 23 and following a meeting and consultation with individual defendants on April 14, 2022, the Securities and Exchange Commission respectfully informs the court that the SEC is not seeking to do any additional studies at this time, the agency said in a recent letter to the Court of the Southern District of New York. York. The live XRP price today is $0.88 United States dollars with a 24-hour trading volume of $3 billion 740 million United States dollars. We update our XRP to USD price in real time. XRP is down 0.4% in the last 24 hours. Now it is time to reveal who is the lucky winner of our giveaway. We randomly selected one fan who fulfilled all the conditions. And the winner is Pole. Congratulations Poll. So XRP Army let's all congratulate Poll in the comment section below and tomorrow we will relaunch our weekly giveaway free 500 XRP. Now let's get back to the video. Do you think XRP will be able to win the court and restore its former price? Write the answers in the comments. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video to the end. If you liked it, then don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel.